morning. It's me again, Miss Tracy. We have two more lessons today and next week, and then it's summer. And I hope I see you in the uh, summer formation. If not, we'll see you in the fall, and we're looking forward to being in person. So I'm going to uh, talk to you a little bit today about uh, caring and sharing. I'm sure you've heard that before. Share is to have or use something at the same time as someone else, or and the meaning we're going to use is to divide food, money, goods uh, with, with other people, right? Sharing is caring. Care, the provision of what is necessary for the health, welfare, maintenance, and protection of someone or something. So what can you imagine is something we should share with people? Food, right? Food, money, and uh, something you might not think of, your time. You know, there's some people that just need some of your time and to know someone cares. There are 86 Bible verses about helping the widows and orphans. And uh, that was a big thing for God to take care of the, the helpless and the people who were hurting. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God, the Father, is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. So we're to care about people. That's love, right? What is a widow? A widow is a person who has lost her spouse. An orphan is a child without parents. So those are people who really need love and care, right? At Pentecost, after Pentecost, the church was growing so fast. And then there was a problem. There were different types of Jews. There were the Greek Jews and then the uh, people who had converted and to Christianity. And then there were uh, the regular Jews. And so there was kind of a problem uh, that the uh, Greek uh, Christians didn't feel like their widows were being taken care of when they were serving food. And so that was an issue. That's not how it's supposed to be. And it was really, really difficult to be a widow uh, in this time because I uh, remember Ruth and uh, Naomi, they left and went home after their husbands died because there was no one to take care of them. And then Ruth uh, is gathering up the, the wheat and then she meets Boaz and she's in Jesus's lineage. She's the uh, one she's mentioned. So in the Old Testament, I found this Bible verse in Isaiah that I liked. Seek justice, protect the oppressed, defend the orphan, plead for the widow. And then in the New Testament, James, that's one I just read to you, is to look after the widows and orphans. And one way you look after is to share with them, right? Uh, so with this problem about taking care of the Greek uh, widows, the apostles were busy, 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 teaching, teaching, and teaching. Uh, so they said, we don't have time to do this. So they picked seven to take care of these women, you no, know, to take care of the situation. And they picked Greek men to do it. And this kind of started the uh, standard for deacons. And a deacon is a person in our church then and now that is the servant or minister. And it comes from a Greek word, which is kind of interesting with its history going back to the situation uh, with these Greek widows. It appears at least 29 times in the New Testament, and it designates a person whose job is to assist others and meet their needs. So the deacons are the people who are doing the caring about the, the people who are in need, and, and uh, God wants us to take care of those people. And that we have a group of men and women who do that. Okay, First John 4.8. Whoever does not know love does not know God, because God is love. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. But anyone who does not love does not know God, for God is love. And love, which God is, which we're called to be like, is to take care of, of people, especially people who are needy, hurting, sad, and uh, anybody can do it. You don't have to be a deacon to do it. You can be anybody. And as I mentioned before, you can share your food, your supplies at school, uh, after COVID, you know, hopefully next fall, uh, your time, and just letting people know you care. That's sharing, and that's caring. And sharing is caring. Uh, but uh, I just want you to think about that. We all can look around and see somebody who needs us to just show an interest in them and to love them and to let them see God in us by caring about them and sharing with them. 
Uh, I hope you wish your mothers a happy Mother's Day and you have a great week. And uh, we'll see, I'll see you and talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.